it go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Crocodiles. The only kind of difficult thing here in the Hollandaise, Central Hollandaise Keys is the fact that there's very little land. So there's really only one beach that we found to take Yoda to shore because the other one has uh, dogs that are not friendly. But we've been told that there are crocodiles on the islands here. So <laughs> we just have seen these kind of tracks in the sand and we're trying to figure out if they're crocodiles or boats. This one looks like a croc to me because it's got like... This one this, too, it's wavy. It's wavy. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this one looks more like a boat because it has lines, right? I don't know. But there are quite a few trails. This one here, really. This so. one definitely looks like it, the smaller one for sure. But since there's so many of them, I, I actually do think they are crocodiles. <laughs> so that's why we have Yoda on a leash right now. Wow, look at this huge pile of coconuts. Yeah. Oh my God. Husks. Yeah. Oh, come on, I hear something. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh. I am far more afraid of crocodiles than I am sharks. <laughs> yeah, sharks don't follow you on land. No. At 30 miles an hour. No. What do you want? I think it's an iguana. Oh, that's a really big iguana. Yeah, I just saw it. They, they have big iguanas. I think this is alligator track, crocodile trails. Someone even either lives here or you know just uses this as a rest stop or something. That's so cool. Not a bad spot, huh? Upon first glance, mere spits of land dot the water's face, but in reality, there is an entire world waiting to be explored just below the surface. And so we spend our days exploring the protected lagoon and its reefs, searching for conch, lobster, octopus, and fish, and admiring its beauty. I can't help but laugh at the irony of how we've reverted to hunter-gatherers, but after so much time spent disconnected from nature, it's a joy to live in this simple way. Since we haven't had a lot of practice, we're not finding much. There's a huge nurse shark. Huge. Yeah, come in, so you can see it. You don't want to see it? Why? We'll be at the Annapolis Boat Show from 10.13 to 10.17 
and we'd love to see you. For a discount off admission, use promo code HARBORS22 and be sure to let us know you'll be there. I continued looking in holes in under the reef for lobster or fish. No lobster. No. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out and lets us know you're there watching. We decided to move to another spot to see if we could find lobster somewhere else. A huge thank you to our patrons. We are so grateful for your support. If you'd like additional content and real-time updates, consider joining the Harbors Unknown community on Patreon. Look at them all. Oh my goodness. I couldn't resist the opportunity to swim amongst the stars. In our quest to get to this point, many times it felt as if we were reaching for the stars, for something that we may not actually be able to achieve. But here in the central Hollandaise Keys, we are finally laying amongst the stars and living the life we have dreamt of for so long. While driving around in the dinghy, Fabio spotted some conch, so I jumped in to see if they were big enough to take. Let's see them. Yeah, they're smallish. I think they, small. they yeah, they don't have a lift. Throw them in the back. Here, there's a huge one. Kristen. This is a keeper. Oh yeah. Gigantic. We decided four large conchs were a good enough haul to augment the chowder we made from the two conchs we traded onions for yesterday. Seeing rain showers in the distance, we headed back to the boat. And now, so we cut this muscle very well. Okay. Then we turn the thing around like this. Alrighty. And you get those pliers, I guess. You cut the 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 this piece there. Oh, poor little punk. Oh my god. I feel kind of bad. You do? Yeah. Why? Because I see his little eyes. Oh my god. Yeah, well, that's it. You know. There's nothing else to eat out here. Plus, I mean, <laughs> so it's, it's the ultimate. 
a dilemma, right? Right. If we eat meat, we have to realize that it comes from animals. I know it comes from animals, but it's one thing to, you know, I don't know, order it in a restaurant. Or I know, but that's the main problem. <laughs> or get it all like cleaned like this. So it doesn't even really look like the animal. Okay. And uh, the guy Tobias yesterday did it all by himself in three seconds. Well, yeah, because I mean, I'm sure he's done like a million of them. And that's what's left. <laughs> then we sliced the conch, threw it in the Instapot, and pressure cooked it for 11 minutes. Okay, quattro libra. Grande. Bueno, cuatro libras. Cuatro libras. Sí. Ese Bo cada uno, dos libras cada uno. Ok. Te toca tú, es 12 bot. Oh, yeah. So, is it close to four pounds? Yes, it's, uh, it's got a scale in his head. Look <laughs> at this. If I take a little bit off of the vessel, oh, yeah. it's actually a little more than almost five pounds. Wow. Amazing. You can see in the water in there, yeah. So, we're going to freeze them for a couple of days to uh, abate them a little bit. It really makes it the meat more tender. Sweet aroma. <laughs> mm. 11 minute pressure cooker. Soft. Awesome. Delicious. So we are adding this conch to this uh, conch chat that we had made. We didn't have enough conch. We use. Uh, some root vegetable that they have here, which I cannot really tell you the name. It's it's brown, very hairy. <laughs> I'll try and find a picture of it online, which is going to be really difficult because I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and now we don't have internet. So. Yeah, kind of like a potato tasting. Yeah, so it's like a clam chowder, but conch. Yep, so conch chowder. Conch chowder. With a little bit of bacon. Yeah, we did put a little bit of bacon. Oh. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cold brewski. Yes. Not bad. So let's try this. This is amazing. Chowder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. This, this root is good too. It's kind of like a, the consistency is so chewier than the potato. It's starchier. Starchier, yeah. So it's interesting because we basically spent all day like procuring our food. <laughs> yeah, procuring for food. <laughs> it was fun. For yeah. sure, like, and it was great because we, those were, well, we found, uh, like, one, uh, we found a couple cons before, but, like, yeah, we found a bunch today. today yeah. mm -hmm. And then we have the ceviche. ceviche. I'll try it. Oh, yeah. So, the ceviche has... Lemon juice, lime juice, a little bit of chili oil, um, poblano peppers, what else? Olive oil? Yes. Over we night. let it marinate overnight. Yeah. 
serious about this. I know. Mmm. Surprisingly tender. Oh wow. Yep. Wow. It's delicious. It's really good. Peppers also. The poblanos Poblano. are clutch. English. <laughs> wow. This is really tasty. <laughs> we have to do this again. For sure. There was to be a suggestion. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.